today's uh, topic is very short. Uh, basically, I've got an Acer One uh, Cloudbook 14. Uh, let me show you with a part number. Hope you can get this. Let's make a zoom in. It gets worse because of probably the backlight, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure you can see this, and the model number is A. Or one dash four three one dash C two QB, um, and that's the specification. And it's, as I said, it's Acer, Acer One Cloudbook fourteen. Now the problem with this is basically I've had it uh, rebooted to factory settings due to a virus. Now uh, the, I've, I've, I didn't bother touching the uh, mouse, uh, the, the touchpad. Um, I've been using an external mouse throughout the full process. Uh, the mouse was working. When the unit when the unit first came in, but then once I've rebooted to uh, refresh the Windows uh, Windows 10, uh, or rebooted it, um, the mouse stopped working. The touchpad won't work now. Obviously, there's a function key and a touchpad uh, on on F7. Uh, you can actually enable and disable the uh, touchpad thing. You can still see the cursor, but you can't actually sort of enable or disable the uh, you know the touchpad because the touchpad is non-responsive now is that a problem with the actual uh, touchpad itself or the logic board or the operating system and to sort of uh, con sort of uh, give you an idea as to what's going on I'll, I'll quickly show you that now okay so what I'll have to do is restart the device let me zoom in and I'll have to enter the BIOS Very strange. Ah, right. Okay. Um, I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have to sort of change me focus. So F2. Keep on tapping F2 to enter the BIOS. My apologies that the zoom's not well working. Let me just uh, go on to this, and then I'll put it on AI. That'll that'll automatically. Yep. Beautiful. That's one of the reasons why you couldn't see the model number before. My apologies for that. Um, there you go. That's the specification of the unit itself. Okay, so going back onto the original topic. Okay, now very strange. After sort of uh, messing around, I've updated the BIOS, and that didn't do the prob solve the problem. And as, as 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 stupid as it may sound, uh, the touchpad function uh, can be altered on the uh, main BIOS, which is very rare. I've, I've I've never come across with that before. To be dead honest with you. So when you have a look on BIOS, let me get a little bit more closer so you can see what's going on. Oops, I don't want to drop my camcorder. So I'll show you if, you can, if I can get the view. Here we go. Okay. See where it says touchpad and it's set up as advanced. Now, when it's set up as advanced and you try to sort of uh, uh, use the touchpad, the touchpad won't work. So let's change this to basic. Okay. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto here, save and exit, and re the, the Windows will restart all by itself. Let's go back out. I'm going to unplug this because there's no need for this. Okay. I hate these little ultra books and all that crap. I mean, what the friggin' hell? 30, you know, people, people are not so computer literate will think 32 gigabyte, 101 terabyte, one terabyte, one drive. People that doesn't understand what one drive is, you know, they're just going to get fooled fool to think that it's got a one terabyte hard drive space. Uh, furthermore, I mean, here, you know, EMMC 32 GB, I mean, what the freaking hell? Once you install all your softies, you're barely left with any sort of uh, space on the unit itself or the hard drive for you to install anything else. This is just about browsing. And the other problem is that Windows 10 upgrades itself to a newer version. And every time it upgrades to a newer version, you know, it's, 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 it's chewing up your hard drive space. So you do need that, you know, at least uh, 64 gig would have been perfectly ideal. Now, here we go. See the mouse is working. Mouse pad is working because of that stupid thing, basically. So just make sure that if you're struggling, I know if, you, if, if you're coming across with these sort of uh, units, uh, always check the bias for a touchpad setting. Um, and if it is set up at advanced, then turn it, you know, change it to basic, uh, save and then restart and your touchpad function will reappear, basically. Let's see if this is working, by the way. So I'm gonna turn that off. Yep, that is working because the cursor is still. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you that. See, the cursor is still, nothing's happening. So I'm going to sort of uh, 
enable the cursor and as you can see the cursor is working fine so there we go hope uh, this was helpful thank you and bye for now